going on guys? Unfortunately, I came to a realization that I think I bought way too many jerseys the last couple years. So one day I was kind of just looking at my, like the, I keep it in two bins, right? And they're stacked to the brim all the way to the top on both bins. And I was just looking at it and just looking through some of these jerseys that I do have and was like, man, I feel like I gotta trim this collection down. So I've done it in my personal life with shoes. Like I used to buy Jordans and LeBrons, but you know, I ended up cutting, and I wasn't a big shoe head at all, maybe 15, 20 pairs. I cut it down to like a rotation of five. So, you know, sometimes I kind of like, like to declutter and just get rid of things that maybe uh, I was a little too trigger happy on. I feel like everybody has these moments where they see something they like, they want to buy it, you buy it, and then you never wear it. And I feel like some of these jerseys in my collection, I just bought it just because I thought I was going to wear it. And unfortunately, it's been sitting. A lot of these jerseys are still new with tags and still come with their original bag. So when I took a quick glance at some of the jerseys on the top of the bin, I was like, man, I really got to get rid of some of these. Like, like they just sit there. And so instead of like having it sit there and collect dust, well, they won't literally collect dust. I have them covered. But I was like, let me free up some capital and I saw the stock market and I like to invest so this is not financial advice I just like to make a lot more money and so I thought I'd take whatever capital that I can get from you know these jerseys laying around transfer it over to my brokerage account make some money instead of having to just sit there so in this video I'm just basically gonna go ahead and cut down my collection it's gonna be a hard decision I already know mentally before I even like film this like this is gonna be tough I have so many players that I do like but I kind of have an idea going forward of like what players I want to keep or what type of players role players star players things like that so this probably gonna be the hardest video I've done since I started the channel because man I, I love basketball I love having all these players but honestly having it sit around for a long time and I realized like I'm not gonna wear them I might as well put the money elsewhere so if you find my struggle entertaining just hit that like button, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So when I drop new videos or there's sales, new releases, you don't miss out. Man, let's get into it. Not too excited, but I know I have to do this. And here comes the hard part. So I kind of have an idea of what I want to get rid of. I definitely want to get rid of a lot of the Swingman jerseys. There's nothing wrong with Swingman jerseys, but going forward, I kind of want to just go after authentics, on courts, or maybe just signature jerseys. So that's probably the first thing that I do want to get rid of. Duplicate jerseys of like, you know, one player having duplicate jerseys, unless they're my favorite players, like all time favorites. I want to kind of get rid of that stuff um, and kind of keep like the most iconic jerseys. So like I already know in my head right now, like Michael Jordan, I have the red and the white colorway. I know I want to keep the red one for sure. The white one is just, yeah, I'm not going to wear that one. So I'm going to definitely get rid of that one. Um, and we'll see how everything else falls into place. I kind of want to also keep, keep like the weird players or just like random role players. I love role players, but here we go. I usually keep the jerseys nicely folded in a bin like this, just so, you know, if someone's cooking in a the house, these things don't end up stinking, even though no one really does cook, but uh, I want to minimize anything like smelling like, you know, food in the future. Like either my collection or things that I'm selling, I just try to make sure everything is just like not, avoid. Make sure I avoid any other problems, you know? Like, you know, sometimes like when you buy jerseys off people, sometimes they stink and it's crazy. It's like smells like their house, smells like smoke and stuff like that or, or whatever. So by keeping them in the bins, they don't really like, they don't catch any of the smells of the house. So let's open it up. First one, LeBron James, uh, Nike Select Swingman. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. So I'm gonna put the keep pile on the left. This one on the right. This one's a size medium. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna have these things listed on the eBay store. And um, they're gonna be, of course, a little higher on the price on eBay. But if you hit me up, um, if we go through PayPal, like friends and family, or you know, goods and services, cut a better deal. So size medium, I'm um, definitely, I don't think I'm gonna wear it. So yeah. <laughs> That's the first one to go. That was an easy one. LeBron James uh, 
all-star jersey this year. Um, this one's a red version that they made two colorways of. He didn't even wear red. Easy. That's going on the um, not wear bin, you know, sell. Um, this one is a, I believe this was 2018 Swingman jersey. Number 23, LeBron James, size medium. That one's an easy one for me. Selling that one. Um, right here, I don't know if you can kind of see it. You got DeJounte Murray, City Edition jersey. I'm going to keep this one. I really like this one. Definitely going to keep this one. Let's see. This one, Dame Lillard, Team USA jersey. I like Dame Lillard, but um, yeah, not into uh, ah, This is going to go here. I'm going to sell that one. Um, oh, I forgot. Baseball jerseys in here. So, New York Yankees Nike replica jersey. Um, usually retails for like, man, 150. Size, oh, 165. Size medium. It has a cheater on the back. I have the authentic, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, let's see this one right here. Speaking of stuff I bought, this one is a LeBron James uh, All-Star jersey. I bought it used. This one actually, yeah. The seller, terrible. Their house stinks. But I'm going to keep this. I was planning to do something with this. i um, going to go ahead and keep this one for myself. Another one I recently bought, I think I'm keeping. It's an old vintage jersey, Jason Williams with the Grizzlies. I am gonna keep that one just because it's like the old Adidas Swingman. I mean Reebok. Ugh. Keeping those, actually gotta wash these, those last two. These are going to be mine, so I don't care how I fold them. Um, LeBron James Goon Squad Space Jam. It's a size large. Now, I don't see myself wearing it. Not going to keep it. Let's see. New York Knicks, number six. Is this Iman? No, it's not Iman. Oh. Tyson Chandler, number six. Uh, it's a screen printed replica from Adidas. That's easy. That's gone. Alright. So this one. I think this 2018 or 2019 LeBron James Authentic. This one has a stitched down Nike patch. It's a size small so I can't wear it. Uh, gonna have to let this one go. Alright. This one. Whew. Giannis Antetokounmpo City Edition jersey from last year. It's a Swingman, size large. I'm gonna let this one go. Swingman. I had the authentic. Someone offered me really good money, and I sold it. And then I got a Swingman instead. And uh, yeah, not not doing it for me. Let's see. We'll put that off to the side. But I am gonna sell that one. Um. Ooh. This one's a Baron Davis, um, man, Mitchell and S swing man, uh, still new with tags. This one's a size large, I believe as well. No, this one's a medium, like, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that one go. I'll let that one go. That's a tough one. But like I said, I'm trying to keep more, man, that's a tough one. Um, Drew Holiday. So we got his Pelican Swingman. And I got his Milwaukee one. He's actually one of my favorite players. So, we're going to go ahead and keep this one. He's one of those players. Great role players. Um, I'm keeping that one. Both Swingman. <laughs> this one. I gotta get this tailored or something like that, but if you guys could get this one. It's 
the Bucks. Steve Blake got traded to them for like half a year. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to get this fixed up. But it's an old, authentic jersey. Um, yeah, I got lucky and found one of these. Let's see. Keeping that one. Earl Boykins. Adidas Swingman. You know what? I'm keeping this one. I'm keeping that one. Jimmy Butler. Vice versa Swingman. I gotta keep that one. Um, anything that didn't come in a bag, I was keeping for sure. Ron Artest. Uh, Nike Rewind Swingman. Keeping that one easy. This one's a J.R. Smith Cavaliers jersey. Gotta keep that one. Uh, Peyton Pritchard. Nike Authentic. Size large. I'm keeping that one. Uh, let's see. Shaq Miami Heat. Reebok Swingman. Size large. I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that one. Then we got... This one's a Mitchell Ness. Authentic. Size small, so really not my size. And uh, yeah, is it size small? New tag still, size small. It's the uh, alternate jersey, the Minneapolis uh, version, light blue with the gold. I'm actually gonna get rid of this one, Kobe. I mean that one I can't wear, so it just makes it a little easier. Dwight Howard, Swingman. Um, that's size small. I believe so. Um, yeah, top. Get this one out of here. Ben Wallace. I'm gonna keep that one. Caruso. Keeping that one. That one's mine. All right, this one. Carmelo Anthony. Uh, this one's like the Nike Rep 30s, and I think. Iman Shumpert's on the back as well with it. I'm keeping this one. Let's see. An old D-Wave Reebok uh, Swingman Miami Heat. I'm going to keep that one. Ooh. This one. Old Steve Blake. Uh, it's a Adidas replica. So it's screen printed. Um, I'm going to keep that one. I'll beat that one up. Wally Zerviak, Timberwolves, Champion Run. This one's an XL. I probably gotta get this fixed, but I'm keeping that one. A couple Yankees jerseys, definitely keeping this. Let's go ahead and clear this out. So that first bin was an easy one. I think it gets a little harder in this bin just because it has more, uh, more jerseys that I know I liked in this one. Let's get this going. Ooh. First one up, Kyrie City Edition jersey. I'm kind of maybe on this one. I mean, I love the jersey uh, colorway and things like that, but how much I love Kyrie, I don't know. I'll have to come back to this one. This one. Oh, okay. So this one is... quickly see it. It's the uh, Nikola Jokic City Edition jersey of this year with the rainbow side panel. It's a swingman size large. Um, as much as I like the jersey and I like Joker, um, man, I think I'm going to let that one go. I kind of wish I got the authentic version. Uh, just, whew, that's a tough one. Uh, I do like this one. But if I might just gun for the on court, the authentic version, and uh, I'll take a bet on that and see how that works. This one, LeBron James, number six, Lakers. Um, you got this size medium. This one is the Diamond Edition Swingman, so it has the Nike swoosh with the diamond embellishment. Go ahead and get that one out. Uh, number six, Statement Jersey. This doesn't have the diamond embellishment on it. This one's a size medium as well. Everything, most of them have tags on it, so just throwing it out there, size medium. I'll let that one that go. All right, 
This one, Jason Williams, Mitchell and that swing man. Still has the tags on it and everything. I like the jersey. I love Jason Williams, but Mitchell and S makes the authentic run, so I think I'm gonna gun for that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. Whew. Um, Damian Lillard, Team USA jersey, that blue colorway of uh, last year's uh, Olympics in Tokyo. I think I'm gonna let that one go. Whew. Let's see. Man. Alright, so this one's last year's uh, LeBron James, number 23, the City Edition jersey. This one's the authentic version, size 40. So it's a small, new with tags. I can't fit it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this one go. I think. I should. Alright, this one, LeBron James, um, Authentic version, Mitchell and Ness, the all-star run. Um, size small as well, so there's no way in hell that I'm actually going to fit this. I'm going to let it go. Size small. I mean, I might as well rebuy re like a bigger size, so um, I'll let that one go. Uh, let's see. Dame Lillard, Swingman, new tag, size small. Large, I believe. Yep, size large. Regular Portland with zero. No diamond embellishment. I'm gonna let that one go. Let's see. Jason Williams again. White chocolate. Probably one of my favorite players of, um, growing up. Kind of influenced me with the behind the back stuff. Swing man. I'm gonna let it go. I know Mitchell Ness, uh, you know, recreates like the authentic versions. I'm gonna let that one go. Ah, this one, it's used. This one is used. Um, size large. This Adidas Swingman run was. Uh, it's a little big. Um, I got this at a time where you wear it a little bigger. Number eight, Monte Ellis. Uh, I'm gonna let this one go. This one actually stitched too, which is dope. Um, Ooh. This one, Chicago Bulls, Mitchell Ness Authentic, uh, Michael Jordan, of course, new with tags, this one's going to be size medium, I already knew I was going to let this one go, I want to kind of keep like the iconic jerseys of like the greatest of all time, or, or you know, you know, you call the goats, um, I'm definitely going to let this one go, ah, I'm never going to really wear white jerseys. And I feel like the red is just more iconic. It just, for me, like, it's Michael Jordan. That red, Michael Jordan. Oh, this one is a hard one to let go. At 92, like, you know, that's the year I was born, so there's like a little more attachment to it, but I don't like the screen print. And actually, I do remember trying it on. I'm not, kind of did not like the fit, so I'll let that one go. Not in the bag, I'm a big fan of Jimmy Butler. Number 23, gotta keep this one. Love Jimmy Butler. Yeah, <laughs> This one, I like this one, Toronto Raptors, Chauncey Billups, even though he didn't play for the team much, it's just one of those rare thing, rare like players, like moving around, playing for like half a season. And it's the classic Toronto. Everybody has like the Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter, who wears Chauncey Billups? Weird guy like me does. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep that one, that's easy. Um, rest one, number 93. <laughs> uh, man, Ron Artest, that's my guy. Um, easy, now nah, this one's easy. Uh, this one, white colorway. This is a very few white colorways that I'm actually gonna ever keep. This one is Denver Nuggets Swingman, J.R. Smith. Love it. Easy keep. Let's see. This one. This one's the Luka Doncic Authentic. Not Authentic. Uh, this one's the Swingman uh, from this year with the Dallas uh, Mavericks. I don't want to pull it out. I kind of just wrapped it in. Size large. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, it's this year Swingman. 
So that one I'll keep. Some more J.R. Smith stuff. Obviously, you could tell. I don't know why. I loved watching him growing up. Roller coaster ride. Sometimes he's great, sometimes he's a bonehead. There, I'm keeping those. Uh, very few duplicate players that I'll keep. Man, this one. It is the hardwood classic LeBron James, that blue colorway. Huh. That's a tough one. I think I might let this go. It's a swingman version. This one's a size. Let me see. Size large. I think I might let this one go. I think this one, uh, a lot of blue for me. I think I'm gonna let this one go. This, you know what, this one's gonna go on the maybe pile. That's a tough one. Um, this one I actually recently bought. It's an Adidas Swingman. Um, as you can see, number two. Uh, this one's Steve Blake. Uh, Easy, I'm keeping it. I have the replica version, the heat press, I mean the screen printed one. Uh, I'll beat the other one up and then in the future, I'll probably wear this more often. Forgot I had a baseball jersey in here. Derek Jeter Authentic, easy keep. Uh, this one, Michael Jordan, 23, Mitchell and this Authentic, easy. Like, like I said, I wanna keep like the most iconic jerseys of the players, like, Michael Jordan, synonymous with, like, is that the word, synonymous? I don't know. But red, right? Like, that's that's what I, when I remember him, that's what I remember him as. This one, um, Kobe Bryant, Mitchell and S. Authentic. This is number eight. This is when he had that fro. Like, that's how I remembered him in the beginning. It's just, like, young, and he would just, he was dunking on people, man. Number eight. I kind of want to uh, get the 24 in gold, like the more, the er, like 2010s. Like I need to go grab that one for my Kobe collection. So I just want to keep it to two, just like the two iconic times. Like you got the old young Kobe and then you got like the black mama Kobe. So I got to go grab one of those. Um, <laughs> shoot, totally forgot. Number 12, Aaron Rodgers, Packers, uh, Nike Elite. Oh, easy. One of my favorite players ever. Gotta keep that one. Whew. So this one here, this one's this year's uh, City Edition jersey, Nike Authentic, and it actually comes with a sponsor patch, the Motorola. It's Giannis Antetokounmpo. Freak. But, one's a maybe. I like it and I don't like it at the same time, but yeah, let me put this on the maybe file. I'll come back to that one. I might let that one go. This one I want to keep for sure. This one's the Giannis Statement jersey when they won the championship. Easy. I'm going to keep that one. I feel like that one is going to be like, you'll remember that jersey because, you know, he won that championship in it. This one. Ooh. All right, so this one, I got two jerseys in here. This one's a Mitchell and Ness Swingman version, the navy blue LeBron James. I like this one. No, LeBron is probably gonna be the only player that I really keep a lot of doubles and like, you know, the same player different jerseys there's gonna be very few people that i'm gonna like do that for um this one's a mitchell ness authentic the number 23 old cavaliers that was an easy keep let's see this is the second generation run of the mamba jerseys number 23 that's an easy keep um let's see number six LeBron James, we got the uh, statement jersey with the Jordan diamond embellishment. Easy keep. I really like those uh, 75th anniversary ones, so that one's easy. Uh, number six, LeBron James again. And I think this one has... 
the diamond embellishment as well. I'm gonna keep that one. This year, City Edition jersey. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. This one, I'll, I'll hit that one on the maybe pile. Uh, old Adidas Swingman jersey. Cavalier days. LeBron James. I keep that. Space Jam jersey, LeBron James. Um, man, I haven't watched the movie yet. I'll keep this one because he actually wore it in the movie. So I'll watch that. LeBron James earned edition jersey. It has like uh, the gold Nike swoosh. I'm going to keep that. And my overall favorite, most favorite LeBron jersey. This one is the Aeroswift um, Authentic Size Medium, the Land jersey. I don't know. I'm always so drawn to this one. I've never busted this one out. Had this for a minute now. I'm going to keep this one. Easy. Now let's go back to the maybe piles. Uh, let's see. City Edition jersey with the diamond embellishment. I think I'm gonna keep this one for now. Ah, I don't know, I don't know. The Giannis one, uh, I might just hold on to this for now. If he wins a championship with this, definitely a keeper. Maybe in the future I'll let that one go. Not sure. Uh, let's see. Blue Swing Man, LA. Um, I think I'm gonna let this one go. Oh, I don't know. That was a tough one. And then we got Kyrie. So, this one, man, he just, he's been going off lately, but, uh, I think I let this one go. And that's pretty much the bin. So everything that I did say that I was gonna sell, I'm gonna go ahead and sell. I'm gonna put it on eBay. Of course, I'm gonna raise it a little higher on eBay because I have to account for uh, fees and taxes on eBay. But if you guys are interested, most of them are size like medium or large, uh, and then some size smalls as well. If you're interested, hit me up on Instagram or YouTube, whatever, and then if we do a deal on PayPal, we have uh, the goods and services, which has a little bit of fees, and then friends and family, where there's no fees on my end, and I'll cut the best deal with friends and family. Um, but yeah, I'll have the eBay store link in the description below and things like that. And thanks for watching me struggle trying to cut down my jersey collection. Peace.